Hey, hi there Capricorn. Welcome to my channel. My name is Linda, and I'd like to thank you for tuning into those energies and influences that are coming through for your weekly reading the last week in December and uh, melding into the first week of January. Crosswatcher energies are interchangeable, and please only take those portions that resonate with you. These are general meanings. Okay, Capricorn. Off camera, I've performed a protective blessing. I've meditated over and shuffled these cards just for you. Your first card, it's the general atmosphere. It's the basis and the issue of the matter. The King of Wands, Capricorn. Fire energy. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Mercury, Jupiter. This could be in your chart, or it could be in someone else's chart that you're dealing with. This is an independent person, and they help those that they care about. They're honest, intelligent, and they're loyal. They're fair-minded, and they'll give you good advice. If this is not an actual person in your life, it can refer to a situation which is exactly as it appears to be, with no hint of deception. It can also indicate good fortune is coming your way. This can be a passion for a project. It could be unexpected help or advice. It could be good news, a promotion, or a settlement or inheritance. It could be spinning things around in your head. This is someone that might be getting a little bored by the predictable. Sometimes he's impatient and too hasty. Yet he's very honest and he's friendly and he's passionate. This can mean an unexpected heritage or a good marriage. This is a devoted friend. They're strong and they have a powerful belief in their self and their achievements. And sometimes they're able to dominate others through willpower and self-confidence. But he may long for the day that he rode free as a knight. He dislikes details, yet he's charming and inspiring, and he would rather lead than follow. Your second card, and this is the energy that's crossing over your path. These are your subconscious influences. The Page of Pentacles, Capricorn, Earth Energy, Taurus, Virgo, you, Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. This is introspection. <clears throat> Excuse me fascination. It can be a communication of stability or an offer. There's interest here. Someone that's absorbed, they're focused. This could be a well-thought-out message and you'll need to wait for its arrival. This is a slower energy. There's no horse, you see, so it takes longer. This is someone that's practical and they're cautious, they move slowly. This can also be a new job, or a new project, or a new investment, even new studies. This could be a person that's youthful and dependable and practical. They're willing to work hard to gain new knowledge and skills. They're a loyal friend and they give good advice, yet they seem solemn and scholarly. And they're willing to work hard to learn about what interests them so very much. They're still learning the ropes. They could be turning over a new leaf or loftier goals. They can be children or the beginning of something new and underdeveloped. An unexpected new start. It's taking the unmanifested Ace of Pentacles and learning to use it. The King of Wands with the Page of Pentacles likes to learn new subjects. They're holistic minded. This can be a passionate new communication. Your third card, this is how it affects you. These are the external influences that you're aware of. The Wheel of Fortune, Capricorn. Number 10 of the Major Arcana. This card is ruled by the four elements, the four corners of the earth. Leo, Scorpio, Taurus, Aquarius. They are the guides that lead us on to the next phase of life. This card has to do with destiny and fate. It's a karmic lesson to be learned here. It can be a success, an unexpected turn of luck, a change of fortune for the better. It's new conditions. It's creative evolution within the laws of chance and a new chapter starting. It's aligning with destiny and fortune and elevation. It's fate, karma. As the wheel turns, life changes and things never stay the same. The wheel turns forward or backwards and events are going to turn around in some fashion. 
and this situation is going to change on its own accord. It is now beyond your control. It cycles and cause and effect, luck, expansion, feel like you're being on a roll or lucky, aware of cycles or patterns. This can be surprises, a gift that goes beyond reason and logic. You might realize you're going to be doing what you're born to do, to recognize any effects of past lives on the present, and experiencing a change in circumstances, usually positive. King of Wands with the Wheel of Fortune can represent a passionate decision, a fortunate turn for the better. And now your fourth card, it's the position of the future. The results, the outcome, and the resolution. And being in the future position, it can be a surprise. The Six of Swords, Capricorn, Air Energy. It's a card of leaving your troubles behind. It's the calm after the storm and smooth sailing ahead. It's mental relief, mental healing and support. It's a transition with recovery. It can be a movement of any kind. There's a calm and undisturbed future ahead, making adjustments. It's being in a somber state and coasting along. It can be a move to a more pleasing environment, a release of tension and anxiety after a period of strain or confusion or something destructive. And now a sense of harmony will prevail once again. It's a mental shift. It could be travel, even over water. It's a calming of emotions. And now healing has begun. It's moving towards a more so supportive environment. This is also a vacation card. The King of Wands with the Six of Swords, this is letting go of mental distress. Your fifth card, it's the bottom of the deck card, the underlying issue. This is what's unseen. It's unseen, it's because it's something that you're not sharing with others, yet you are consciously aware of this. The Queen of Pentacles, Capricorn, this can be you as well as a Taurus or a Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. It can be a male or a female. This is someone that's domestic, they're practical, they're capable, and they're orderly. They're generous and benevolent. They respect money as a tool, but they do not worship it. They want tangible results from the money they distribute or offer or, or loan you. This can be security, it can represent someone's mother. This is a harvest after much labor and prudent uses of resources. This is someone that's protective and nurturing and resourceful and down-to-earth. They're fertile and healthy. They're a homemaker and a housekeeper. They love gardens and growing things, and they love nature and animals, and they're affectionate and caring, and they know how to manage money. This can indicate help given of a practical nature. It has to do with material concerns. And they teach us that what is cherished must be cared for. This is someone that puts a high value on stability. They may not show or say how they feel. So take some time to consider all options before proceeding. The King of Wands with the Queen of Pentacles. He wishes that she would be more spontaneous. She is frugal and he overspends. So he may be asking her for a loan. The Page of Pentacles with the Wheel of Fortune. This is being practical and prosperous. The Page of Pentacles with the Six of Swords. This is moving towards tangible opportunities for relief of mental distress. Page of Pentacles with the Queen of Pentacles represents a new urge to upgrade your home or decorate or invest in arts or a business that's related to the arts. The Wheel of Fortune with the Six of Swords. This is a turn in your favor and moving ahead. You can expect a change in finances, and you're due to reap the rewards for your efforts that were expended in the past. The Wheel of Fortune with the Queen of Pentacles, this is someone taking their sweet time, and they're being realistic with generosity. The Six of Swords with the Queen of Pentacles, this is a fertile improvement. It's moving towards someone who is supportive, caring, and nurturing. This can be an emotional journey, aiming to better yourself. Here's your advice from the Oracle deck, Numerology, by Michelle Buchanan. Card number 41, representing self-discipline. Card number 41. This card indicates a need for self-discipline, motivation, and action to improve your quality of life. By drawing this card, 
You are being reminded that you need to meet the universe halfway because your dreams won't manifest by themselves. This is a time to clarify your goals and to plan and prioritize your ideas and actions and then take the mental, emotional, and physical action needed to make your dreams come true. You are being encouraged to rein in any thoughts and emotions that are contrary to what you're trying to attract. Rather than letting your doubts and worries consume you, you must have the strength and willpower to focus predominantly on your dreams. You can attain those goals with a strong and disciplined mind when you surrender the outcome to the divine. In order to improve your current situation, you're being asked to adjust to and harmonize with the natural rhythm and cycles of your life, cycles that are encouraging you to be motivated and strong. This is where you need to play your part. The universe will provide the opportunities, but you need to see them through. Capricorn, there is an affirmation with this card, and it is, With self-discipline and action, I make my dreams come true. Thanks, you guys, Capricorn. I hope you stay tuned in and leave me a comment or a thumbs up, and please subscribe. Now remember, what goes around comes around, so I'm sending you out love and light and blessings. Thanks for watching.